There's a fellow back in the 19th century. His name was Jean-Francois Gravelet. And uh, he, his English name was Charles Blondin. And he was a tightrope walker from France. He was the first fellow to ever cross Niagara Falls. And he crossed it on a, a three-inch hemp rope. It was 1,100 feet long. And it was suspended 160 feet above the, the falls. He did that on June 30th, uh, 1859. And when he walked across, he used the big, long balancing pole. And he even had the audacity to do a backward somersault and land on the rope. So this fellow was quite a daredevil. And uh, later on, he would cross many more times, many more times. Uh, he One time he pushed a wheelbarrow across the falls on the rope. Uh, another time he <clears throat> did it blindfolded. And one time he even put his manager on his back and carried him across the falls. And uh, from that point on, often when, before he crossed, the crowd would be gathered. And uh, he would look to the crowd and he would uh, challenge someone. He'd point to them. He'd say, sir, do you believe that I could carry you across that falls? And of course, invariably, the person would look back and say, oh, sure, I believe you could carry me on your, on your back across that falls. And then he'd say, come on, jump on. And invariably, they say, no, 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 no. And he'd say, why? You just said you believed I could do it. He says, the fellow would answer, yeah, but I don't trust you to. <laughs> you see? <clears throat> now, folks, <clears throat> isn't that a lot like Christians? Yeah. Hmm? We say we believe God's word. Oh, I believe he can do this. I believe he can do all things. Nothing is impossible for him. But when it comes time to go for the ride through the storm, through the trouble, through the trial, through the test, we don't trust them. 